Alright, this is Bijuino Custom Code 01101010. And the non binary number for this is 106. Man, there's a whole lot going on in this one. Starting from the top left, we've got uh, includes and defines coming into the picture. We have arrays coming into the picture. Uh, we have the on execute coming into the picture, reading from the array. And we also have uh, a custom library that we have written for this one. So there's four big major ones coming in. Okay, you're gonna have to find the link to download the zip file. Uh, in that zip file is the Visuino program and the library folder. So after you unzip it, let's go ahead and stick that Pigeon Kicker Tone folder right in where your uh, main Arduino Libraries folder is. So far the only thing inside the Pigeon Kicker Tone folder is the Pigeon Kicker Pitches.h file. Now what this has is all the defines for your notes and what the uh, hertz output and frequencies are. All right, so right off the bat on the includes. Now, this is where you include libraries and also where you set your defines. Now, where everyone knows a define is where you put a word in and it replaces that word with a number. All right, numbers box. This is where you set up your arrays. Uh, this is also, as you know, where you set up all your other variables. Um, in Visuino Custom Code, you must put the number of variables in the array in the square brackets. In the normal IDE, it is not required that you have that number. Here, you must. Alright, on the on execute, on the if statement there, uh, duration and frequency, line two and three. That's what's using the arrays. Uh, note duration is in the quarter notes. Uh, it's reading either a four or eight in this uh, one. It goes two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. Uh, and then the frequency uh, from the melody, uh, from the notes, that is reading it from the pigeon kicker pitches file. All right. So we don't get tripped up, let's just keep rocking right along and move on to the on execute. Okay, so on execute, first line, if this note, now this note is the current count for the array slot, one of the eight slots. But look, less or equal to seven. Why not eight? Because a computer uses zero through seven as eight slots, not one through eight. Nimbus. Alright, so after we get the duration and the frequency from the arrays, it's gonna send out text send next note. So that is sending next note out the text one pin. Uh, integer one and integer two on line five and six there. Uh, sending duration and frequency out. It's just uh, sending the numbers straight through. Number seven. Uh, if you want to print a line, there is no print line command. Use text1.send with a space between the uh, damn bracket thingies. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you remember from the beginning, we defined on line 8 the word update delay as 500. This is where on the init box that the, the define update delay 500 is going to come in. Alright, so in line 9, all this is doing is adding one to this note. Hmm, difficult. And then it continues on with that loop until it reaches, uh, what, 7? Now in the next if statement, it checks to see if it is greater than or equal to 8. Uh, you know, we don't need nine slots, so if it counts to eight, that means it wants nine notes. We only have eight. 
If it's equal to or greater than 8, it sets it to 0. And then it restarts the loop from the if. Alright, now this episode's quick tip. It is, don't trust the libraries that they want you to add. I have only found one library that went in and worked without a problem. And guess which one it was? The one I made. All the other libraries have conflicts and wording in it that has to be changed. So be careful with adding libraries. You know, while you upload to your Arduino now, you can think of yourself as being this dog having a happy, happy joy time. And then out of nowhere flies this damn robotic fly and whaps him in the nose. Yeah, now he looks like this. <laughs> All right, so if you uploaded it correctly, you're going to have a light blink in there every once in a while. And when we connect, yep, it's going to give you the notes in order. So that it's giving you next note. I guess I could have put the note number on there, the array number. But then it's giving you the um, delay time, the note duration. And then it's giving you the kilohertz frequency. You'll see one there, it's got a zero. Comes up on the frequency. That is a pause, no sound, it turns it off. So. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of this one. Uh, there's a couple more things in the next episode that's uh, a little bit more, and that's when we look into a pre-existing library and change it to work with the custom code. Uh, and believe you me, I lost a few hours of sleep on this one. So, you know, uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, or don't. It's all good. Peace. Hey, Hank.